This video intended for entertainment and informative purposes only, but the live commentary may not reflect this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, it's Clinical X999. Welcome back more um, Super Mario 64 The Missing Stars. In the last episode, we got all the stars in the abandoned ship. Or not the abandoned ship, uh, uh, Koop, Koopa's house, Koopa the Quick's house. And in this episode, we're going to be going this way that we could not uh, go to um, without a few stars first. We are now in uh, the outside city area. And uh, this music is um, a remix of uh, Zelda's Lullaby from uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. As you can see over here, we also... There's a, there's a little Venus fire trap over here, too. So I guess there are piranha plants in this uh, enemies in this game. I just more so meant uh, an enemies that, um, like, sleepy piranha plants. What do you got? The volcano is blocked, but you can get into it through an underground entrance. Be careful, because that place is filled with all sorts of traps. All sort of traps, excuse me. We also have the uh, metal cap over here. Um... So we, uh, I do know where it is and where it is, but I would rather, still rather play the courses in order before I'm um, unlocking the, uh, the metal cap. Um, there's a switch underwater there, so it doesn't take a genius to figure out what you need to do with the metal cap. So, uh, let's, uh, let's start off by finding the eight red coins. And while I'm doing this, I can tell you guys, um, how, exactly how I'm, uh, oops, exactly how I'm, uh, playing this. Um, like, controlling this. I actually am using a, uh, converter. Where I can, uh, a USB converter. Where I can plug, um, an authentic Nintendo 64 controller into... Ooh, low poly Mario. Where I can, uh, I can plug an authentic Nintendo 64 controller into it. And then I can plug the USB into the USB port of my computer. And I can actually use, like, a real Nintendo 64 controller to play, um to uh, play these Mario 64 ROM hacks. So yes, I'm actually using a real, um, authentic Nintendo 64 controller to uh, play this. It's an, uh, it's an adapter, that's what it's called. I also have one for, um, I also have one, um, an NES uh, controller adapter as well. Um, I had one for PlayStation 2 as well, or PlayStation slash PlayStation 2, but I don't know what happened to it. And I... Remember buying one for uh, Sega Genesis, but it never came in. Alright, and up here, um, this is where the other red coin is. I think the last red coin is on that platform up there. So, uh, we want to, um... I'm gonna jump on this. Nice little elevator ride with these little balls making a path right over here. And oh my god, it's Chain Chomp! And he's guarding the last red coin. Thank god it's not on his peg like it is in Bob on Battlefield. Ow! Thank god he hasn't been buffed like the other enemies have been. Whoa. Okay. I don't know where this takes you. I think it just kind of takes you back to that pipe over there. I don't know why, but Change Up just seems to look, look a little bit scarier um, um, than he does in, uh, in uh, more in, uh, games after this. Because Change Up, he kind of... I don't know, maybe it was just because of the Nintendo 64 graphical limitations, that's why he, he looks scarier. But don't worry, we're going to be interacting with Chain Shop in the future, in the near future. Alright, here we get a start I don't know, I don't know why I'm trying to roll the R, like, I cannot roll R's for beans. I've been trying to do- <laughs> High score is zero coins. Apparently, the high score is set below zero coins. Let's head back over here. 
By the way, remember when I said we were going to be interacting with Change Up in the near future? I didn't exactly say how near, now did I? Oh, a laugh I fell out there. Whoa, okay. Um, yeah. All you want to do is just pound his, pound his peg in. There you go. And once again, even though he's free and can just as easily attack us, if not more easily attack us, he actually, um, launches over there and opens up the, uh, and opens up the, um, opens up the volcano. I, for some reason, remember, um, Chain Job actually crashing the game, because, um, because I, I feel like Chain Job is kind of hard to work with sometimes when I'm making Mario 64 hack, but for some reason he doesn't. Maybe I'm thinking of another hack, maybe it's, uh... Maybe I'm thinking of uh, Super Mario 64 Sapphire, which is another one I'd like to play. And uh, I'm actually worried I'm going to die if I'm not careful, so uh, let's, um, shoot, that's not what I wanted. Okay, we're good. Here we go. It is now night. Don't exactly know what this music is, but it sounds pretty intense. I'm guessing maybe it's like um like a battle theme from some RPG. Whoa. Oh jeez. And uh, now we have here. Check it out. The elevator's now going in a different direction, and uh I see some bad news block over there. So all you gotta do is just follow that up and... Okay, the camera... What? Uh, the camera distracted me. Uh, let's do this again. There you go. And, uh, now the next, uh, two stars actually require us to have the metal cap in, uh, that stage. So, um, we don't... So instead of, uh, going back there, I'm actually going to, uh... First of all, I want to make a day again. Because apparently going, uh, through a door advances time by about three hours. There we go. Morning, Peach. <laughs> it's like I came outside after a good night's sleep. Let's go, um... Let's go this way. Forest ruins, or no, beware the forest mushrooms. Everybody loves this song. This is the abandoned shack. Nobody lives in this big old house. You better be careful. It looks like one heavy step would put you through the roof. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's start by. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's start by doing this. Okay, whoa. Um, oh, Shy Guy, what do you got? I think that Goomba was playing a trick on me. I have looked everywhere and I just can't find that secret passage. Yet somehow I feel I am very close to it. Getting that feeling too, buddy. So what you want to do is... I actually don't know if you necessarily have to uh, jump onto this. This is the same uh, properties as that thing in a lethal lava land that kind of like slams down and tries to crush you. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, I think you want. I think we want to jump on. I said I think we want to jump on these blocks. Or is that just to get the red coin? No, no, no. Actually, wait, hold on. Or no, it's not this either. Ah, uh, here it is. Um, this, uh... Where is it? Oh, wait, hold on. I think we gotta get in this tree, actually. Yeah, this mushroom is, uh, coming up and down, so we wanna hop onto it. And 
jump on up here. And up here. And where this red coin is... No, it's actually over here. Got a little thing we can drop down to. Oops. And there's one of the stars. There's also this little sign right here. Um, I don't think there's any way to read what's on it. You know, I wonder if that's actually something that the developers wrote that nobody will ever know what it is because, um, it's just too low resolution. Oh, just another mystery of the beautiful beauty that is Super Mario 64. You know, speaking of which, by the way, I want to say something. You ever, if you ever, uh, if someone ever, um, tell, uh, tells you, tells you, ah, why are you playing this hack in 2023? I want you to remind them that that you're currently ROM hacking a game that came out in 1996. So we're basically all still playing a game, playing, playing and ROMing a 27-year-old game. So, you know, the irony of it. And I just say that because whenever, because and I just say that because whenever, because uh, people saying who's watching and whatever year is one of the one of the many things that people say on the internet that pisses me off. So, let's head up onto the roof. I think there's actually a red coin inside the house, so, uh, or the shack, I guess. So, um... But, uh, we're gonna be going in there in a second. I have a red coin up here, and, uh, this area seems pretty flimsy, and there's, uh, five coins, um, over it. It's ground pounding. Whoa! Uh, I'd like to see a boundary break to see exactly what happens there, because that's kind that was kind of weird. Uh, let's do it again. Yeah, that's... What is that? Well, now we're inside the house, or the shack, jeez. Oh, whatever, I guess it's inter interchangeable, but, uh... Yeah, there's the red coin. Where's the last one, you ask? Well, I, I also wouldn't blame you if you couldn't figure this out. But basically, what you have to do is you want to go to this plus sign of blocks and do this. Or not on that one. On this one. Yeah, I don't get why they thought you would think to uh, pound these in, but you do. And then, you push this out of the way, and the last red coin's in there. Okay, don't do that. Because for some reason I fail at wall jumping, and failing at wall jumping kills you in certain hacks, like Super Mario 74. Here we go. It is now nighttime, and I believe this is uh this music is a remix of the uh the milk bar theme from Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Alright, so let's head up on the roof. Oop. I'm gonna go up here, and there is now an elevator here! ZOMG! I wonder what it could lead to! If you look up, there is. Oh, there's a giant tipped over mushroom. Is that normally there during the day, actually? Because I don't. I don't remember actually looking up during the day in this level. Well, I guess we can find out, um, after we get the star in. Hey! Fly guy! No! STUPID FLY GUY! Fly guys. The bane of su of any Super Mario 64 player's existence. Their AI is just so perfect for screwing you over. 
They're, lo they're spitting fireballs at you, and then they know just when to dive in to knock you off the platform. Usually, Ground Pound will get rid of him good, but... God, they are annoying. Look at him dancing. Look at him dancing down there that he screwed me up. What a jerk. Okay, where were we? Still dancing. I would have been a troll if you could break that. <laughs> Alright, now be careful because I think up here it's actually- I think it's kind of easy to fall off. Up here- whoa! Okay. And, uh, so, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, pick this up. It's actually a bunch of coins, so I guess if you somehow lost health coming up here, you would, uh, you could use that. Okay, let's not long jump. Okay, whoa. All right. Well, we got these platforms. Don't worry, they don't flip over. Like that really annoying... Uh, wait, what was that? Okay, I'm probably gonna fall by doing this, but... Oh, it tips over. Okay. Not really that big of an issue, though. Okay. Hit that switch, and jump over to the start. See, this hack is really easy. If you want to play Mario 64 hacks, this is a great one to start with. Alright, we got all the stars in the abandoned shack, but I want to see if that mushroom is there during the day. Uh, the mushroom's not up there, but the platform saw her. And look, the the the, one, the thing that had the one up in it is still there too. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of uh, Super Mario 64: The Missing Stars. So, uh, next time on Super Mario 64: The Missing Stars, we're gonna be uh heading to the next area. See you guys then. Bye bye.